Hey you guys, welcome to my Venus Do Science series. This is for Venus in Capricorn. Um, so if in your birth chart, not transit, um, but in your birth chart, Venus is in a sign of Capricorn, these messages are for you. And it can also apply if you have um, Venus, I mean, I'm sorry, Capricorn as your seventh ruler. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. And also I have done this, decided to do this a little differently. So I'll explain as we go along. All right. All right, so we have here the central issue or the overall theme as the Seven of Cups. So I feel like something's going on where maybe there's confusion in your life. Um, you could be confused about what it is that you you care about anymore your passions you might be confused about your love life um, there could be confusion in regards to just what you want to do in general uh, this also indicates that the theme, the overall theme is going to be about maybe hidden secrets uh, hidden desires and taboos and also being faced with any type of temptation so I feel like there is a need for you to also make sure that you aren't looking at something through rose tinted glasses because what you're feeling could be an, an illusion um, or maybe it could be temporary or maybe you're just not able to see something clearly because of your emotional state. Now, your love life or your love situation, we have um, the four of wands and then we have the outcome as the nine of wands it looks to me as if there's going to be some sort of breakthrough a secret could come out walls could come down maybe you're trying something new um, especially whatever this secret is or these hidden desires i do feel like maybe you get to express that or experience it but then it's like going back into hiding um, or wanting to crawl back in the corner or something. I feel like you're going to have like a surge of confidence, but then end up feeling like afraid. Um, I also feel like maybe you just start to feel, you, you start to doubt yourself or have some sort of insecurities that you still need to deal with. You might still be dealing with some sort of um, trust issues as well. But I feel like there is a need for you to overcome your fears. I feel like if you do it once, you can do it again. Just keep going. So I feel like it's about uh, conquering or overcoming your fears here. Um, you could be dealing with any signs, but I am getting like um, Leo's, Sagittarius, um, could be a Scorpio or someone with Venus in Scorpio, maybe Aries. I feel like you're also needing to be brave, like I'm getting bravery. It takes, it takes a strong will, it takes a burning desire to um, go after something that you want. And this can also go, you know, still go the other way around in, in regards to your love life, like um, even if you are flirting or you are being open, your love interest might be coming off as insecure or shy um, and needing to confront their insecurities and those doubts. Now, career wise, you look very secure or comfortable with whatever is happening or with whatever you're already doing. Either you feel comfortable at home getting paid to stay home if that's the case. Um, if you have your own business, it looks like things continue to go well. You're still being financially independent. You have um, pretty good money savings going on for you. Um, if you are looking for a job, I feel like you find something that gives you a sense of financial freedom or financial security. <clears throat> so I feel like uh, your career is looking good too and also this is not just about career but this is also about some uh, general matters in your life so in general you just may be feeling secure financially 
confident. I feel like um, I feel like you're going to be proud of yourself and what you've come through. And I also feel like you are being admired. Speaking of admirers, you may have a secret admirer that also might be part of the secret that needs to come out. Um, and then here with the Six of Cups, um, I just feel like something from the past returns back to you. So <clears throat> if it is a person in general, friends or lovers, I feel like you're going to hear from them. If it is about getting that call back, I do feel like you're going to get a call back. And it's something that you care about, something that you're passionate about. I feel like in general, you are learning to trust or there's going to be an establishment of trust. I feel like someone, there's an exchange of secrets. Like you share a secret with someone and they share a secret with you. So there's this back and forth exchange of secrets. You also might feel that someone is part of your, um, like someone that you work with is your soulmate. Or if you have, um, if, if it's like a business client type relationship, um, maybe you and your client feel like soulmates. I feel like it's mutually received, whatever is going on. But the outcome is about mutual reception, give and take, um, trust being established, getting that, uh, returning to something that you care about. So, I mean, things look pretty good for you both on um, career and love. I mean, the love situation, it does look like someone needs to overcome their uh, insecurities and their fears, fears, but I do feel like that's going to happen. Now, I do see a couple of things here, though. Let's say you're already in an established relationship. Either you are going to get tempted or your partner. And But it, I do feel like someone's loyalty is being tested, but they're res holding out or they are reserving themselves, or they're resisting it. That is, it indicates that someone is strong enough to hold out for um, and be loyal to their partner. So even if you know this person is single and there's a physical attraction there, it's like, oh, you're cute. You know, I feel like um, this is saying, okay, like, man, I'm attracted to this person, but I'm I'm strong. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go there. I'm not not gonna do that. Um, so it does indicate that there is a physical attraction between you and another person or your partner and somebody else, but it doesn't look like um, they're going to cross that line. I feel like someone is going to remain loyal or uh, faithful. Um, also, just in general, as the outcome advice, the overall advice, this is saying a couple of things. So... I feel like you are needing to have courage to um, confront any type of anxieties or fears or doubts that you're having. Um, I feel that I feel like either someone is being very supportive of you or nurturing you or you are nurturing someone and letting someone know it's OK to be who they are or share certain things with you that she's having like a very nurturing um appeal with this energy here she, it's like she knows how to coerce this person or she knows how to tame this person's energy if you're dealing with someone romantically it could be telling you um just those things to nurture this person because someone is earning your trust or you are earning someone's trust it's mutual whatever it is um this is telling you to be have courage and it's the same that you have the the inner strength to deal whatever is thrown at you this is indicating that you're very resilient um in any type of difficult situations if you're also wondering if you should creep out from your relationship I feel like this is saying just hold strong be loyal because what you're feeling or experiencing may only be temporary or it's probably just an illusion or it's something just very shallow and it may not be worth it um, so if you are being tempted to step outside the relationship I feel like it's saying uh, hold on it's like whatever you're experiencing or feeling it will pass it's just 
maybe it's boredom it's just a fantasy it's it may not last you may already be with your uh true soulmate as well um yeah so let me go ahead and look at a couple of things here well really just a nine of wands let me see that Like you definitely could be saying encouraging things. You may be someone's rock. You also may need to have patience with someone. So for some of you, this is about um matters of the heart like admitting to each other that you love each other or care about each other getting clearing the air um i feel like you guys are both being supportive and caring towards one another so if you're in a relationship something's going on where you are being very supportive of your partner you are showing them that they can trust you with their secrets so i feel like you um you and your partner may be exchanging secrets um, maybe these secrets are taboo. Maybe it has something to do with the career that's supposed to be kept a secret, but they're like, you could trust me, you could tell me. Um, so whatever the case, I feel like if you're in a relationship, you and your partner are opening up to one another. You're establishing a foundation of trust, love, and support. If this is a new relationship, I still feel like it's about having trust with this person. Like, I feel like, and that's funny, I just saw these two cards in another reading. Um, whoever you're connecting with romantically, they feel like home to you. I'm seeing both the Six of Cups and the Home card. This person gives you a natural sense of trust. Um, maybe you or your partner both have some sort of secrets that, that need to come out. Maybe it's dealing with um, taboos or things that dealt with the past. But I feel like you guys are being encouraging with one another. Um, maybe someone was abused. I don't know. It doesn't have to just be sexual. But I feel like you guys are letting each other know that you're there for each other. And I feel like you're enjoying each other's company and getting to know one another. Um... Could also be dealing with uh, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. I don't know if I said it already. Maybe someone that has Venus and Scorpio. Maybe a Pisces. Um, yeah, I feel like someone didn't know if they could open up or if they could uh, share something that was weighing heavily on their heart. But I feel like they, they are able to do that. So... Overall, energies of this month is about um, secrets and clearing up confusion. It takes a lot of courage to admit certain things as well. Let me see strength. You're being encouraged to talk things out and to that things take time to be established. Again, I'm getting something about just be patient with uh, your career. Be patient in regards to your love life. Um, I feel like maybe someone also is going to need you at this time. I feel like you're someone's light. Someone really trusts you. Yeah, and definitely love related. You're dealing with a soulmate. So hopefully those messages um, make sense. Feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.